Hey guys, so today I'm going to be giving you guys a an AimLab guide. Um, I know a lot of you use Kovacs, I know a lot of you use um, AimLab, I know a lot of you don't use either. So I've already made a few guides for just using Valorant, like the practice range for improving your aim. Um, but this is going to be more of a uh, an AimLab guide. So I'm going to show you just a few things, the main things that I would do. Uh, because there's a lot of things in AimLab, you can see my rank here. I think I've actually gone down a little bit, but... Um, yeah, apparently perception is my best. The ranking system in this game is kind of weird. Just don't look at it. It doesn't matter. Uh, I haven't been playing AimLab very much either. So um, what you're going to do, there's a home screen here. You're going to click on training. And there's a few things. that They actually have updated this game quite impressively. It's pretty nice now. Um, before we get started, please click the subscribe button and like the video if you want more of this type of content. So moving on here, we have uh, under featured. Just basically, grid shot is going to be your best friend. But... I want to do one of grid shot, and I'm also going to do um, one of uh, under the Valorant tab here. So there's a few different things that they have actually made, like basically remade the maps of Valorant, and you can actually kind of like replay even like clutch scenarios, which is really cool. Um, and it helps you get a good feel for certain maps in Valorant rather than just improving your mechanical aim. So we're going to start with grid shot. Um, you can see my high score is. 130k I, I it's actually higher than that but um i'm actually not gonna be very good here so um just bear with me i'm just trying to teach you guys how you want to do this you're going to try to prioritize before we start you're going to try to prioritize um sp a balance of speed and accuracy so if you can keep your accuracy at or above 85 to 90 percent that's going to be ideal if you go below that it might not be a bad idea to just restart and try to keep that accuracy up because if you're trying to go too fast and you're just missing shots it's not really worth it so let's see what i can do here Okay, so <clears throat> like I said, I actually haven't played Grid Shot or Aim Lab in general in like probably a few months. So I'm actually kind of impressed with the 100k here. Um, so the main things you want to look at whenever you complete a run is your accuracy, your time to kill, and obviously your score. But these two are going to be good indications of how much you're actually improving. So if you have a <clears throat> high accuracy and you also have a low time to kill, this is in milliseconds. So the lower this is, the better. I think. I was around like 1 to 50, 1 to 60 in my absolute prime. So just try to raise the accuracy and lower this while also raising your score. Um, so that's how you're going to play grid shot. But continuing here, um, I'm going to go and just pick one of these. We'll just go for this one because it's actually a clutch scenario, which is pretty cool. I've done this one before as well. But <clears throat> So you can see here I'm actually on a remade version of Icebox, which is really cool. Um, there's, I think, some like this for every single map. So if you guys want to practice a specific map, this is a really good place to do it rather than just going into a custom game. Because they actually give you like little targets to hit. You'll see what I mean. So you can imagine that you are defending the spike that just went down here. And they even have like models of um, people. So you can aim for the heads here. And try to avoid the bullets. And just try to minimize the amount of enemies that you're peeking. So that you're not exposed to too many, because this is definitely a problem that you can have on Icebox. Even though I'm kind of exposing myself to a lot here. I will likely get into the rhythm in a second. Oh, shit. So this is a 
I think this one's like a minute 30, or unless I'm just wrong, I think it might be a minute. Either a minute or a minute 30. I'm whiffing pretty hard here. So this is something you practice, just trying to uh, only hit, only use one shot to kill here, instead of like spamming like that, because, I mean, that's just a problem with aim in general. So you can go from like aim lab to this. So I'm not going to play too many, but you can see my score here. This is a bit of a different uh, screen, but... Yeah, so yeah guys, hopefully this is useful. Um, pretty short guide, there's not much, there's actually a lot of stuff in AIMLab. So you can click on tasks, there's like, you can go game specific. If you wanna practice a, a specific skill, um, this is where you can go to. Like, some of these are kinda weird, like flicking is good, uh, tracking is good, speed's good. Cognition, these are interesting. Some of them I don't, I find very difficult, some of them I find very easy. Like this one specifically, I remember getting like a top like 10 score in it for no reason um, but you just do you you do whatever you think you need to work on you can find different things under the Valorant um, different maps whatever you think you need to improve on and that's how you can use aimlab aimlab is a very nice tool um, like I said before please like subscribe if you want coaching the link will be in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one